Yeah, yeah welcome back to So Unprofessional. This is your guy, the most unprofessional, Mr. Barksdale. I want to introduce y'all to my lawyer. Ms. Brittany Gardner. Ms. Brittany Gardner, <laughs> number one DUI lawyer in the city of Philadelphia. State, Pennsylvania. I'm, and you're right. Thank you. The state <laughs> of Pennsylvania, from Alaska to Nebraska, you call the number and she got you. She can't do it from Alaska to Nebraska. From Maine to Spain. She can only do it in the, from Turkey in the to, states that from, she's got past the bar in. From it? Turkey to Albuquerque. <laughs> World renowned. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes, please. What do you do? Okay. She's well, a lawyer, I, Jacket. <laughs> I'm sorry. You, you ready? Yes, Okay. Um, so I am a defense attorney in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Mm -hmm. I primarily practice criminal law. I do a lot of DUIs. I also do a lot of family law, license restoration, traffic mm. stuff, mm. a little bit of landlord tenant. But, mm. So, yeah. Criminal? Mostly. Retainer fee? Uh, I wanted to talk about that off camera. Fifth. There we go. <laughs> so where's your office located? 325 Chestnut Street. Nice. Old City. You mean Old City near recess? Yes. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> Will we have five because I don't know what we're talking about. Because you're a nut. I think it's a nightclub, right? Yep. Yeah. So what's your website? It is www.gartnerlawdefense.com. Nice. And if you were my lawyer and I got caught with like a pound of crack in my pocket right now, what was the probability of me getting off? <laughs> <laughs> well, first I want to find out how you got arrested in the first place. Mm -hmm. So, And then why you have crack in your pocket? <laughs> well, I mean, that's a different story. Uh, and why is it a pound of crack? You know, you or just don't know a crack. Okay. Oh, that's 2.2 .2 pounds of crack. <laughs> so I just want to know why you have a pound of crack in your pocket when it could be anywhere else on your person or the vehicle you're operating, but it's in your pocket. You what might if be it's a in rack. a duffel bag? Well, how did they get in a duffel bag? I'm sorry, Louie. Someone put it in a duffel bag. bag. Well, why do you have the duffel bag? Get him. I just want to know what's the probability if I get caught with a kilo She's of crack. She's asking the questions that <laughs> matter whether you're getting off. You're probably going to jail. Thank you. <laughs> well, what? Why am I calling you if you're going to jail anyway? Because you're not in the right situations. <laughs> See, me, if I call you and I got caught with a pound of crack, it definitely wasn't on my person. It definitely was somewhere in the vehicle where other people... So let me ask the Lord. If I had a kilo of crack, mm -hmm. Where should I put said kilo of crack? Fifth, what the fuck are you asking me? Because <laughs> I'm not going to have a kilo of crack. I will hope not. I've been watching a lot of Snowfall lately. Are you bugging the fuck out? But hopefully you don't have it on your person. Just learn from that. So, you're here from your, for your law well, expertise. That's it. They and we were talking they locked about up my OG. Bill. We were talking about Pill Cosby. Oh, Yo, right. Lee, stop calling my Pill OG Cosby. Pill. They locked up my OG Bill. Handed out for fake Quaaludes, rape cases. Like it's candy. For fake rape cases. Get them out. Now. How we get them, how we getting them out? Well, his attorneys are filing some appeals. As they should. So, I mean, but he'll have to fight his appeals from From the jail. Yes. When you're 89. First of all, if you're 19 fighting a case from the jail, it's tough. So 89 is just different. I'm he's not. 81. Yeah. He's 89. <laughs> I'm going to 89. Right. Get out. Can you hear me? I'm, listen, I just want to be real. Like, I'm not fighting no case from the jail. If I can't post bail, I'm just pleading guilty. So. You want to sit down on the doorknob with me? No way. <laughs> Bro, you'll sit in jail for like two years. During the trial, they spin back, try to give you. Time served. No, no, no. You're being nice to you. Time no, served. No, leave me alone. So, how are we getting my OG out? Talk to me. Well, his attorneys are first going to file appeal. Mm -hmm. So, they're already in the process, I believe. Um, some grounds that they have for filing appeal. I think that one of the jurors said um, from the beginning that they already thought that Bill Cosby was guilty. Mm -hmm. um, another um, grounds for appeal. Um, was the fact that the previous DA, DA of Montgomery County said that he wouldn't prosecute 
um, Bill Cosby. If so. he pled no contest and gave up that statement, right? Yes. That's why I hate Montgomery County. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Would you ever let your client give a statement? If they gave me gave me the safety net that they gave you Bill Cosby, you? I'm trusting my lawyer. Well, now that we know all that we know that they can just do it anyway, would you let your client give a statement? I mean, it is ultimately up to the client whether they decide to do it or not. I can advise them which way they should go. Um, but I mean, if you are giving something in return, it's not always a bad choice. So in Bill Cosby case, would you advise that statement and if no contest plea? I mean, back then, probably, yeah. So with this Me Too movement, I don't think people realized that this movement was going to happen the way it has happened so far. So back then, maybe it was a good idea. So um, I know it was definitely a lot. He did admit to some things in his deposition that hurt him in this trial. Yeah. So, and, and, and that's the thing that bothers me because they guaranteed him a certain concession and violated that the terms of that agreement yeah and that's what got him booked so I, you mean to tell me i paid her 3.5 million pled not guilty and you promised me a concession and now you violated the terms of my concession i'm out of my 3.0 million and i pled no contest to a case that if we went to court at that time I respect it. She'd have looked stupid. So I guess at the end of the day, I guess my only question before we wrap up this segment mm -hmm. is, is the, as a lawyer, is there any advice you would give to one of your clients who likes to give pills to women and have sex with them while they passed out? <laughs> any advice? I advise them not to do that. <laughs> I mean, the best advice is don't break the law. Yeah. So, next we're going to talk about uh, Botham Jean. Who the hell is that? <laughs> He's the gentleman that was just chilling in his house. He got smoked. And the female police officer shot him. Shot him in his own residence. And they found weed. And she said she shot him because she thought it was her apartment and he did not follow her commands. That's what, what? She, that's what she said. <laughs> so, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I'm about to say some real goofy shit. No, so hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Hold on, hold on. I'm not processing. Her excuse. I'm okay. not processing everything you said. Okay. You gotta stop. Okay. I'm gonna bro, say bro, it slower. Bro, bro, this bro, 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 bro. Stop. I need to ask a question, and then you just validate it right now. Okay. That's how I process. She walked into his home. Yes. <laughs> she thought it was her home. Correct. She killed him in his home. Thinking it was her home. Correct. Because he didn't comply with demands in his From home. From an off duty police officer. <laughs> that she thought was her home. Correct. All right. All right, go so continue on. And they waited uh, about four or five days before they actually arrested her. They let her go that night. Yeah. On her own free will. So she's under arrest right now for what charges? Well, she's out on bail for manslaughter. Manslaughter? Miss Lawyer, is that manslaughter of murder? Well, she was charged with manslaughter, and um, in the state of Texas, manslaughter means that you recklessly cause the death of another person. Yeah, that's usually manslaughter. So but she maliciously killed a man in his own home. That shouldn't that be murder? Okay. Well, I, I'm sorry, Fifth. <laughs> well, I, that's how their um, prosecutors thought to charge it. Um, if more facts come out, I know that they. some people were saying that they probably had some sort of relationship. So if it was deliberate and premeditated, it would have been Ooh, first, first degree murder. Well, they said that actually they have two witnesses that also live in a complex that they heard her knocking on the door saying, let me in. So apparently her version. Well, she's a liar. It doesn't sound like her version is real. Like, apparently she wanted him. She didn't just happen to walk in the, uh, in the house. Uh, she requested they open the door and there was he a He refused. There was a confrontation. He he wound up opening the door at some point. I wouldn't and that's when he got door. smoked. See, that's the yeah. problem. When crazy women knock on your door, it doesn't matter what race she is. 
don't open it. See, my only my only problem is that she has the audacity to just say he did not comply with my orders. Yes, you wanted me to open my door, crazy woman, when I had female company. So there's no way I'm opening the Ms. door. Miss Brittany Gardner. Yes. <laughs> so, in, I got a question. In your own home, are do you are you required to follow the orders of a uh, off-duty police officer? No. So do, why do you think she brung up the fact that he didn't comply with her orders? Because he was well, a black man and she was a devil. And she, she's also a cop. So, um, you know, sometimes cops think that they have these special superpowers that they don't have. But um, we have the greatest protections in our home. So police aren't even on duty police at that aren't allowed to come into our home unless they have an, a search warrant or if there are exigent circumstances, so. Like somebody ran in the home that was eluding police? Right, so if there is like a, like a, yes, so like a felon on the run or if there's some type of emergency where police, hey, that's not me. That, <laughs> where, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Where, um, I just lost my train of thought. Circumstances where they were eluding police. Right, so if someone is on the run from a crime and then they run into a home, then the police officers can follow that person into the home, so. But that was not the, the, the gist instance of this. here, so. So what, what would your be advice for anyone who, who a police officer knocks on their door and tells them to open the door? Don't respond. <laughs> I know my rights, bitch. Well, I mean, if they don't have a search warrant, you don't need to let I'm, any. I'm you don't have to let them in. Smoke my black and mild and watch Netflix. Oh Open the door, Mister Lamar. Yeah, where's the warrant? <laughs> Slide it under the door, boss. <laughs> oh, no warrant. Y'all be cool. How y'all be cool? Thank you. I was actually one time. I was, a, you know, I had a roommate that I actually um. Uh, he had child support problems. Okay. And I think pe more people need to understand that they don't need to open the door. So I don't think it was, I think it was the sheriff's. It, weren't, it wasn't the police. But they were knocking on the door. Mm -hmm. And they continued to knock on the door. And I heard them knocking on the door. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go back to sleep. Because <laughs> we're just not going to answer the door. Yeah, so they had, that sounds like they have an arrest warrant. So an arrest warrant and a search warrant are two, two different, different things. things. A arrest warrant is a body warrant. Uh, 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 yes. The they came for the body. Right. So if there is a search warrant, that is the police, um, that's giving the police a right to search your home for whatever they're looking for. If there is an arrest warrant, they're only supposed to come into your home to arrest uh, the person. So well, the problem, well, the problem was... Someone's girlfriend got scared when they said, we're going to stay out here till you answer the door. <laughs> and she actually opened the door. It was my girlfriend. It wasn't my girlfriend. Oh, is this a personal experience? No, I wasn't there. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. No, this was a personal spirit. So I think that, I think the lesson is that she probably shouldn't have answered the door. The she probably shouldn't have, but if she did, then that's, that's on her. The lesson no, is it was on him because he was hiding in the closet. Oh, the lesson okay. is, is this. <laughs> If they come with an arrest warrant, I can have 50 keys on the table. They're only there for him. Um, no, they sir. They extract him. No. See, look, no, she's correct. No. I can't have my 50 keys on no, the table. No, because it is, that is a, an exception to having a warrant. If, if something is in plain view, the office, officers can take that and arrest you for oh, it. I don't take my 50. So no. are they, now, is, is this the same that goes with the sheriff? as well as the police or just Yeah, it, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not saying this is a true story, but when these, hypothetically, when these people came in the house, they said, oh, it sure smells like marijuana. Well, they always say that. But it did smell like marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> you know, bitch. <laughs> Thanks, lawyer, for protecting us. No problem. <laughs> Next on the agenda, we're going to take a a look at what August Alcina mm -hmm. uh, put yeah. on Instagram yeah, about nigga. Jada Pinkett, yeah, Will Smith's wife. Yeah, <laughs> now this is quote, he wrote, I don't believe in luck, I believe in God's divine order, and you are an example of God's divinity and its covering over my life. A beautifully complex <laughs> individual you are. I could spend a lifetime decoding you. Decoding you? <laughs> 
Thank you for your laughter. Thank you for seeing my heart and character and not measuring me based upon what I, where I come from. Jaden, I gave him some pussy. You see me for who I am and what, I, what I'm going to be. Whoa. Even when I can't see me. Thank you for challenging me on a daily basis. You're a little piece of heaven here on earth. The fortune in my cookie, the vet in my rookie. You are love personified. There hasn't been enough diction created to articulate or express the capacity of my love for you. It is simply beyond measure and human comprehension. So as my soul continues this quest, I just like to say, Happy birthday, best. You're nothing like the rest. Hey, I like that. She so gave, this man <laughs> said something about she, someone else. Yo, yo. Yeah, that's interesting. She gave him some pussy, bro. The question is that is that regular pussy? Like that gotta be like so. That's achievement pussy. The lawyer shouldn't be here for this conversation. <laughs> or I'm gonna walk away because. Like, how would you feel it if? If a somebody, woman made that made that statement about your man. <clears throat> well, my man isn't Will Smith, so I will say that. I also <laughs> think that they have open relationships. So, I mean, if it's open, then I don't see the problem. I'm saying you are speaking from a politically correct <laughs> stance. I'm going to speak what? from the nigga stance. She gave him some pussy, bro. But that's what I'm saying. They have open relationships. But I'm just saying, open relationships still calls for respect to the marriage. You don't put no shit on no Instagram like that about my <laughs> wife. People been shot in the fucking head for less. For less. <laughs> Niggas been killed for opening the door for people's wives. You want to go in and go on Instagram, call my wife for all this extravagant shit? <laughs> my wife's going to sat on your face, nigga? How you know what my wife got? You better back the fuck up off my lady before I catch a case. Yo, August Alcina completely out of bounds. And all that player <laughs> shit, all that player shit he talked in his music, he done got some pussy and violated the code. I think he just that. caused her strife in her household. How you think Will Smith gonna read that shit? Her I kids mean, gonna read that it's shit. It's been said he been... They have an open relationship. He's been knocking off chicks forever. But the kids don't know that. <laughs> well, they know it now. Nah, that's not cool. <laughs> that's not cool. You got you got the Willow and fucking Jaden coming home questioning what the fuck is this? This is shit like Harlem Nights when the bull called up his wife. It's like, I ain't never coming home. <laughs> but, he, but, but he did that while the kids was young. It's different when them kids is 14, 15, 18, 19, 20. Fuck is you doing? Like, that's just some real shit. I throw August Alcino off a fucking fifth. Fifth. I'm sorry. So, exactly what would you do if someone said Miss Barksdale? I'm going to kill them. Fifth. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Fifth. Fifth. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I have realized, though, that apparently he, he has not written his songs. Because even that was horrible. He said, you're the footrin in my cookie. The vet to my rookie. I like that part though. Did you? The vet to my rookie. That's that's nice. That's strong. What the fuck does that mean to you? <laughs> Chill, no, she just like that it. That mean it. <laughs> she the old head and he the youngin. I think the vet to my rookie. No, that shit sounds like some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I all thought of, it was all cute. All of it sounds like you put your vagina on my but, face and I'm turned out. And I what does it matter what you thing. think? She's the woman. She thinks it's nice and special. I thought Fuck that was that. cute. If somebody sent you some shit like that, I'll smoke him. <laughs> Fair. Oh, Fair. I'm sorry. Fair. We definitely appreciate y'all checking us out for our first show of, of, so, of So Unprofessional. Shout out to my lawyers. You, you only got one. I'm sorry. Shout out to my lawyers. All right. Make sure y'all check out, uh, what's, the, what's the website? www.gardnerlawdefense.com And this is our in-house lawyer. So whenever we talk about law issues, we're going to get her our favorite bottle of wine and have her come in and speak about everything that goes against whatever the fuck I'm thinking. <laughs> because everything that I'm thinking about is somebody's got to go. So if you got caught with a DUI, Ooh. if you got caught child support, speeding, Ooh. 
if you got caught with a kilo of cocaine. Oh, whoa, 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 fit. I ain't getting caught with a kilo. Somebody out there got caught with a key. All right. And they could probably afford to give her a nice all right, chunk all right, of change. All right, all right. All right. Um, if you murdered your wife. Fit. What the fuck? <laughs> well, maybe somebody sent one of those out August I've seen the things. Yo, I'm not murdering my wife. <laughs> I just, I just, he murdered the woman that had the young blood. I just want to be clear. I just want to be clear. Make sure y'all call Yo, up and put the garden. And, and young blood. <laughs> I just want That's what Will Smith, he's going to put his head around you like. Boom. <laughs> I just want to be clear. I just got to put this out there to our watching neighborhood. I won't disclose who the love of my life is. But, if you send one of those Instagram <laughs> posts to my love, scoop them. <laughs> Delaware, Chesapeake, what do I all have in common? <laughs> A body of water. <laughs> <laughs> when you're headed. Oh, my bad. All right, thanks a lot. Peace. Peace.